What's going on guys? Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today we're going to go back through the Destiny 2 Rally the Troops trailer to see what else we can learn about Destiny 2. Now, before we get into the video, if you guys do enjoy it, leaving a like is much, much appreciated on my behalf. Also, to be in with a chance of winning my weekly emblem giveaway, just simply drop a comment on this video. Now, we know the main story behind Destiny. The Red Legion attack us in our home, destroy the tower and the last city, and we have to come together to seek revenge. We have to explore new unknown territories and planets, learn devastating new abilities and obtain new weapons. From the Rally of the Troops trailer, that's the impression and what I believe we learn from it. Now I have heard many different theories thrown at me from all crazy kind of angles. Theories such as our little lights, our ghosts being dead. This in my opinion is a crazy theory. Our whole being is based upon being resurrected by our little lights. Plus many things would not make sense in the reality of our ghosts being dead or have even been deactivated. Now I mean this could be a possibility and during our start in Destiny we have to reactivate our ghosts so to speak. But for sure I can guarantee you our ghosts will be with us within Destiny 2. Whoever started this theory I mean just simply ain't looked at the facts. Plus there's the fact that Nolan North confirmed his role within Destiny 2 so that is that. Now watching the trailer you notice there are two groups of people, one group with Zavala and the other group with Cade 6 and Ikora. Now my guessing would be that within the start of Destiny, depending on the class we choose, we might have a number of quests we can choose to take, possibly one per subclass which is something I'm pretty sure will happen and I would love to see as we all would. Now it's hard to speculate who will and who won't be a part of the Destiny 2 story but to be honest as long as there is more story than what we are used to with Destiny 1 definitely in that starting year of Destiny 1 I will be happy for sure. But it does seem that within the Rally of the Troops trailer we are seeing more personality from Cade 6 and Savala than we have in the entire three years of Destiny 1 which is another great thing. Seeing a kind of a lined up character being portrayed by Cade 6 for sure is not what we're used to with Destiny 1 being so damn serious almost all the time. I actually like it. Now it all kind of adds up to the fact that in my opinion they are trying to make it clear within the trailer that story will be key within Destiny 2. I hope the character progression throughout Destiny 2 and our career continues the way we see it within these trailers. Character progression, learn new things about us as Guardians, the Traveller factions, races etc etc. The more we learn about these, the more in my opinion Destiny 2 will be a great great game and it is of that utmost importance in my opinion. I do however hope this Rally of the Troops trailer isn't just the opening cinematic and then we are just let loose to seek out Gary and destroy his guard. I want more than just that and hopefully that's what we will see and get. Now going through the trailer we see an indication of some characters that were important with our Destiny 1 Guardians. We do see Shax, although only for a couple split seconds, he is there. There's also speculation and lots of it that Azur is also behind Zavala in this trailer. I personally just think it's a black hooded up Guardian, but if Zer is anywhere in this trailer, it's in this image right here with Cade. Now I ain't saying it's him, I'm saying it just looks more apparent than the Guardian behind Zavala being people are speculating about. Plus, why would Zer be here unless the Cabal decided to raid the tower on a Saturday night? Now this is even a bigger long shot than Zer, as this person is never in the tower. But what looks to be Brother Vance is seen leaning up a wall behind Cade for a split second. Now I spotted this myself as I've literally split this trailer up into single frames and been through it. Now I ain't saying this is him, but I am putting it out there that our first DLC expansion for Destiny 2 is also related. Maybe, just maybe, this is actually him and he plays a bigger role than just a Crucible vendor in Destiny 2. Who knows? Now if you would like me to give you guys a more detailed video of the things I've found by going through this actual trailer frame by frame, let me know down below in that comment section. I do not mind bringing it to you guys at all and I found some quite interesting things we could talk about. Now it is all fine and dandy me pointing out Crucible vendors from the trailer, but what about them faction vendors for Dead Orbit, New Monarchy and Future War Cult? Did they not make it out of the tower in time? It begs to question, will we have new factions or new faction vendors come through? Hopefully it's a case of planet vendors where we can purchase or trade materials for weapons of outer our norm. This in my opinion makes more sense and is what I'd probably most want to see. This game is more or less a fresh start. Hopefully new vendors are a part of that fresh start too. We do however see the Queen's Guard armor quite a few times throughout this trailer, but that is a different story altogether and I do wonder how it will fit into Destiny 2. So many fucking questions. We need fucking answers. 
Now, something I haven't seen anybody speak about from this trailer is the speaker arguably the most important being within the tower. Why was there absolutely no mention of him within this trailer? None at all. I mean, for sure, he could be doing his own thing, like trying to save the travel, etc, etc. But it is a bit sus we don't even get a single glimpse of him within this Rally the Troops trailer. Maybe the bastard has turned rogue. That would not surprise me at all. As well as the Cryptarch, no mention or presence within the trailer. Hopefully the blue bastard fell off the side of the tower and landed on a spike. Fucking rank 235 with the bastard and he still gives me garbage. What the fuck? Now on a serious note, do you think the loot system will be the same as Destiny 1? With like different rarity of engrams and mainly being RNG based? Or would you like a fresh new loot system? Let me know down below in that comments section. But that is another subject for another video. Now also throughout the trailer, we see numerous weapons from Vanguard. We see a couple of modern weapons as well as new weapons which are not a part of Destiny 1. I'm guessing when we start our quests as new guardians within Destiny 2, or not new guardians but our fresh paths, we will have basic equipment, a select few weapons to choose from, basic armor to choose from as well, and we will start from there, leveling up again, gathering new materials and items as such. That is the way I see this going, and I'm actually pretty excited to see more about it. Come May, we do get a gameplay trailer, which I am super excited for, I really am. But other than that, we're just going to have leaks here and there. We actually had a leak come earlier today, which I got, well, I put up both images on screen for you guys. Now, we know for the most part about what these are, but at the bottom it says, what is the expansion pass? And I'll read you guys what it states if you can't read it or you just can't be asked to read it. The Destiny 2 expansion pass includes reservations for both expansion 1 and expansion 2 which will be released in winter of 2017 and spring of 2018 respectively. The expansions offer brand new story missions, cooperative activities, competitive multiplayer and a wealth of new weapons, armour and gear. Now at first glimpse I saw this and thought winter 2017, that's not long after the release date but I think it's following the same path Destiny 1 did because I'm sure we got the dark below within winter as well of I think was it 2014? Just I think it was. So maybe they're just following the same path. Now me personally, I thought because of the rumours about this game coming out almost 70 gigabytes, 70 motherfucking gigabytes, now that isn't factual, it's just rumours, I would have thought the game is going to be way bigger than the game we got with the start of Destiny 1, meaning more things to do. But to be honest, as long as they do keep dropping DLC on a regular basis, I'm sure we will all be damn happy. But guys, let me know what you think about what I've gone through through this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Do drop a like, I do appreciate that support. Subscribe if you're new around here. Hit that bell button next to that subscribe button to turn on notifications so you never miss a video. And I will, as always, catch you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand.